Canadian National Council of Toronto Chapter. Um, and on behalf of our organization and the Council of South Asians, Council of Agencies Serving South Asians, I would like to uh, welcome all of you to our Asian and South Asian Heritage Month uh, reception. And our theme this year is Our Stories, Our Histories. Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you very much for coming today. And on behalf of CASA, Council of Agency Studies South Asian, as well as CCNCT, or Chinese Canadian National Council, Toronto Chapter, we welcome you. This has uh, been the tradition every May that both of our organizations get together and hold a reception at City Hall as a way to um, support City's uh, continuous effort to reach out to South Asian Asian communities, but also to remind the need to, continue to continuously work together between uh, the city institution as well as the community organizations to reach and uh, fulfill the needs of the communities. Um, we're, well, I can't speak for Nathan, but I think we're both excited to be here. Um, every time I've been to City Hall, it's been rife with different emotions. The first time I was here, um, it was actually a press conference um, before the first council's meeting to vote against um, McLean's magazine. It was the first time I'd ever been to City Hall, so that time was sort of more bewilderment and excitement. The second time was after the council had passed the motion, so it was more jubilation. And the time after that um, was the first time I made a deputation um, in front of executive committee, which was a lot of nervous energy. And today is one of those days where it's a little more um, excitement, happiness, and just glad to be here to be able to celebrate with a lot of our participants, um, volunteers, and to be able to recognize the work of our, our staff and the partnerships that we've created with each other and the way that CAS and CC and TTO have been able to work together in the last year. Each year we have added a theme uh, to our reception and um, a couple of years back it was on the youth engagement, uh, gender equity, and last year it was on the LGBTQ activism within the South Asian Asian communities. And this year the theme is a little bit broad. Uh, but an important theme, it's a call Our Stories, Our Histories. We are going to be talking about how our stories, individual and collective stories of resilience and resistance and organizing is an important part of Canadian history and needs to be accounted for and celebrated and shared. So as, as a result of that, we've, uh, we've gotten that theme and we have amazing speakers to come through to speak and share their experiences and their stories. Uh, we also have certain displays uh, that will uh, elaborate on the stories as well. So. Um, in addition to that, we have uh, some amazing speakers from the city of Toronto itself um, speaking on behalf of the various departments they are part of. Um, we, we definitely want to celebrate Asian and South Asian Heritage Month by recognizing the, the kind of uh, people that we have more than moving away from the traditional sari, samosas type of celebration and this will be a bit more, uh, you don't see samosas, you see refreshments that are offered by the city hall here but you'll definitely get a taste of what South Asian activism looks like when our, our, and Asian, Asian activism looks like when our speakers speak today. So at this point of time, I want to actually welcome Councillor Denzel Minan Wong to, to the reception and I know he's bringing greetings on behalf of the mayor and the uh, proclamation for the two organizations. So please come forward and please join me in welcoming Councillor Denzel Minan Wong. 